Welcome everyone. Welcome to business uh, data analysis track. Uh, welcome to all of you. I hope uh, this is your uh, first time you are entering in and uh, uh, please let me know if you have been uh, already part of uh, Vivexer track or my track. Anyone who has attended my class previously or Vivexer's class previously. Okay. Um, Okay, so yeah, let me. Hi. Good night. Yeah, um, I don't good, know. Good I think the wrong name came up here for me, but this is Kalisha. I'm using my sister's computer tonight. So okay. I think that's what came up. Um, but that's what I'm trying to understand because I missed the classes last week. I was, I didn't get a chance to attend, and I'm wondering if classes have finished. If okay. Vivek's classes have finished now. Okay, Kalisa, uh, thank you so much uh, uh, for sharing this. So let me quickly tell you, uh, uh, let me ask you first, have you uh, attended Vivexer's class earlier and not mine? I attended your classes, then okay. we moved on to Vivex classes. Okay, so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. This information I needed. So if you already attended my class and moved to Vivexer class and Vivexer uh, session, last session, what he uh, delivered was the last session of the batch. So the first batch is over. So we entered into the second batch. Uh, however, there are a few students who could only attend Vivexer's classes. They have to continue anyway uh, until uh, my four weeks of track will get over. So, but anyone can repeat that. So this is how it is going to be. Is it clear for you? Okay, so the sessions have finished. That's what I'm that's what okay. I'm wondering. If my batch has finished, okay. So yeah. I just wanted to know what's next because nobody has contacted me. Um, the HR rep or nobody has said no no one will job. contact you no one will contact you if you have attended my session then after training you need to move to RRP session you need to complete RRP session get your CV approved by Dev Ji once your CV gets approved then you have to appear for the mock interview session all the six pillars which have been told to you uh, before your enrollment you need to continue to follow that okay and then you continue. OK, to, so uh, that's why it wasn't explained at all um, what the process is. So, OK, so now we just continue with the um, triple RP sessions, um, get the resume approved, then move into um, another session, the interview session, and then we get placed. Yeah. So uh, have okay. you attended before joining the candidate career counseling session? Because have I believe I that from there only you might have joined, right, uh, Kalisha? Yeah, I attended the candidate career counseling session. I did. Okay. Attended so, all the sessions. Awesome. Except so, for last week. Yeah, no problem. Last week, Thursday and you, Friday. You are can, the only you can session. attend that session, which I have been missed through a video, definitely. Right. And, uh, so no problem. So now, uh, because uh, I'm going to um, uh, start today in the new batch, you can stay back and you can again understand the uh, uh, revised session, means what exactly I'm going to talk. That will freshen you up. Okay, I had attended that. You might have forgotten. So anyway, this is going to help you. So can we get started and everyone else can hear me, right? Okay. You can unmute and uh, rest of you, you can unmute and you can say yes and confirm me if you all can. Yes, sir. Yeah, thank yes, you yeah. so much yes, for us, uh, for confirming uh, everyone. So welcome. Yes, thank you so much for your confirmation and uh, welcome you all to the uh, new brand uh, Fresh Batch. Uh, this is uh, data analysis with Excel. How the course is going to structure, we are going to talk about it. We are going to uh, introduce each other, means me as a trainer, you as a candidate going to introduce, how this training is going to work, how it's, it is targeted for you to get placed, that everything we are going to uh, look at it. So let me quickly share my screen with you. And uh, once you are able to see my screen, kindly let me know, just a second. Let me reshare my screen.
please do confirm if you all can see my screen everyone yes yes okay thank yes. you so much yeah. thank you so much for your confirmation um All right, so I have started recording the session today. After the session, you are going to get the recording as well. So first of uh, all, let me quickly tell you what we are going to learn today and how we are going to learn. We are going to talk about that as well. Okay, so... So this is going to be a course structure. This is going to be eight weeks of uh, learning where uh, we will learn uh, data analysis using Excel. This is a, a men's uh, weekly uh, program that is going to be uh, how we are going to uh, remain connected with each other. That detail I am going to um, bring more. Uh, so first four weeks are dedicated towards the learning um, using uh, data Excel using uh, Excel. Uh, data analysis using Excel, okay? So how it is shifted first, you will get to understand how data analysis is around closest to closer to business analysis. What all things you need to know, you will also get to understand few tools that uh, few tools which are necessary in data analysis apart from uh, Excel that you are going to learn anyway. Um, then at the end, Using Excel, you will be able to generate report. You are able to, you know, visualize data and you are able to publish report as well. So that's the whole idea behind um, using Excel for the data analysis, how you can uh, and how it can impact the overall business growth for which whatever company you are going to work for. So that is the four week target. The next four week from week five to week eight, uh, our another trainer will come and uh, he will join uh, from week five to week eight. He will teach you uh, data Excel using SSIS using SQL. Okay, SQL um, uh, database structure query language. So that part will get enrolled from week five to week eight. Do you have any question around the structure? If not, then I'll tell you quickly what is going to come next. Any question around this towards the um, structure? If not, no. uh, can we move to next? Okay, so let yes. me quickly tell you that uh, uh, you know already about Guru Schools, so I'm not going to talk about Guru Schools. Uh, let me quickly talk about the trainers. We both are uh, trainers. Uh, I'm a, uh, I have various certification and work for various domains. Uh, currently, I'm working as a release manager with one of the US-based company. I have more than 20 years of experience, various uh, certification, worked in the uh, more than eight uh, countries. And um, yeah, so this is, a, a, apart from the technical session, I also conduct a, a business coaching business uh, for business owners. And uh, I have trained so far more than 8,000 people uh, across the globe, where uh, one, 83 people are still with me and they are just uh, using uh, the learning through me and utilizing in their life. And that's a, in, a, in a lifelong learning session. Another trainer, Vivek Kumar, he has total 12 years of experience. Um, with his presence, he will be talking more about uh, uh, himself. Uh, as of now, he is working as a delivery manager in one of the IT-based company. Uh, the third one is that uh, before we come to you for your introduction, let me quickly talk about Focus Six Pillars offering from Guru School, how this journey will going to continue. First, you have enrolled here. You have enrolled as student and you will be uh, becoming the part of the training. Okay. So this training is instructor-led free training for you. Uh, free training as in you have uh, deposited your money, whatever, uh, whenever you have joined. Before June, if you have joined, you might have, uh, uh, or after June, if you have joined, you might have paid around $1,000. That is a refundable deposit. Only uh, you get this refund if you work with Guru Schools for uh, three months on their project. Okay. 
So uh, first instructor late uh, training happens, then uh, based on your 80% or 90% of training, you get anyway uh, the course completion certificate. And that is the second pillar. And the third pillar, uh, you get to uh, attend RRP session. RRRP session is the reference ready resume preparation is must for you. That happens every Tuesday and Thursday by HR team, your RRP team, and Devji, the founder of uh, Guru Schools. And uh, it is quite necessary for anything which is other than training, you need to be always in touch with, uh, uh, with your uh, HR. Your HR is the first point of contact. Let me repeat this and underline. Anything which is apart from training, you must and must and must re remain in touch with your HR point of contact. They are your first and last point of contact. We will be always in your touch as HR once you enroll into the program, start your training and you want to prepare for the interview using the training, whatever you have learned. And after you get placed in any job, you will get our assistant for next six months until you say uh, to Devji that it's over. I don't need any uh, more assistance from our trainer. So trainer will be with you only related to, you know, technical stuff. So we will be with you uh, for, for you to help in, in uh, uh, getting place. So that's, that's uh, number four, I guess. And the fifth one is your interview support. So we will continue to help you to prepare for the interviews. In fact, we will invite you for mock interviews. And also, um, th that's the fifth one. And sixth one, we give you after the, uh, you know, uh, after you get place, we help you to we help you to uh, in the support as well. So let me repeat whatever I have said. I said that instructor led uh, training, that's number one pillar. S second, I talked about, okay. So second, we talked about um, certification. Third, we talked about you need to uh, attend RRP session every Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, your uh, HR generally share the link for the RRP session. We trainer don't share. We only share the uh, links related to training. That's it. And then uh, after RRP session, it comes your interview preparation. Then after interview preparation, it comes uh, your job placement. And after job placement, it comes your uh, six month of support. So this is how for uh, these are the six pillars. Any question around it? If not, you can go back to the demo session, which I believe and assume you might have heard before joining to the uh, Guru School's uh, uh, data analysis track. Is it clear? Six pillar. Is it clear to all of you? Generally, they also keep on talk talking about these six pillars in candidate career counseling before you could enroll to the session. It has been shared with you all. Is it clear? Say yes, if it is. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Thank yes. you so much. So yes. have, having said so, I just now let you go through the course structure already. I explained you, um, I explained you six pillars. Uh, this is the recorded one. And uh, in every recording you will, uh, I'm not going to, uh, even though now repeat the six pillars, other there are other courses i'm not going to talk about uh, all other courses because you have uh, you have enrolled for data analysis you must know about the data analysis now understand what are the uh, three stages of the data analysis i'm not going to jump towards completely into the learning as it is uh, going to be day one but few elements i'll share that with you that you can understand so is it okay uh, we will go with the means uh, neutral to first gear and gradually we will shift the gear. Are you okay with such kind of a journey? Because this is going to be a four weeks journey with me using Excel. Is it okay for you, everyone? You can say yes. Yes. If you are. yes. Thank you. Also, yes. I truly appreciate your responses. Yes. 
Yeah. So first, uh, data analysis, uh, three stages are very important, where first you need to identify, identify data, you clean the data, and at the end, you have to summarize the data. And that's all done in data analysis. Whatever you use, any kind of tool you use, uh, every tool follow these three principles, or say three stages of data analysis that you need to remember. ICS means identify clean and summarize okay ics if i can see identify clean and summarize so that you need to remember here uh, your data analysis job is done so this is just a quick summary this journey is going to be eight weeks of journey not just a six weeks of journey um so this is day one week one uh i have a uh, uh, and today is the introduction day. So in this introduction day, uh, I believe you might have filled the form if you have focused on, um, you know, let me quickly share this form with you. Okay, if uh, you have not filled the form, what I am going to give it to you. Uh, okay, but this form is also part of uh, Zoom. So I don't, uh, you don't need to fill the form again over here. So I believe everyone has filled the form before joining the session. Anyone who is who has not filled the form. So I assume everyone has filled the Zoom form before joining to Zoom. Zoom, you were given four uh, elements, first name, last name, your WhatsApp number and uh, date of joining. Uh, do you all remember? Have you all filled that up? Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. Awesome. Thank you yes. so much. Okay. Now uh, let's come back to the important thing okay so here uh, we are getting into introduction round in this introduction round you have to tell your name from where you are connecting uh, your educational background and uh, in case you have any working experience so these are the four elements let me repeat that your name uh, from where you are connecting uh, your uh, educational background and uh, uh, any work experience in case you have at all. So let's get started. What I'll do, I'll call out your name and uh, we'll hear from you. So let's get started from Vishaka. Vishaka, over to you. You can unmute and speak up, please. Yes, uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Vishaka Kansara. I'm from Texas, US. And uh, my education background from India is uh, MSc in Microbiology. And here in US, I don't have any experience, work experience, but back in India, I used to work with uh, one of the biotech uh, pharma manufacturing company as a quality control executive. Awesome. How long you had been working? Uh, uh, around like seven to eight years. Experience. Seven to eight years. Awesome, yes. Vishaka. Thank you so Thank much you. for sharing this. So welcome to Guru Schools and welcome to Dana Data Analysis Track. Uh, thank you so much thank for you. sharing. Let's hear from Ashwini now. Ashwini, you can unmute and speak up, please. Kindly introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Ashwini and I'm from Texas and uh, I'm working as a teacher assistant right now and I don't have any IT background and I'm looking forward to learn something new throughout this training. All right. Thank you so much, Ashwini, for sharing. But do you have other than IT background? uh no. no i no okay no problem and uh what you said your educational background ashwini please if you could oh uh i completed masters in statistics oh. but it's been long time and i don't have any touch once i came over to the united states i was so busy uh, at home and didn't do anything so this is completely new for me okay. right now so I heard that you said that you have completed your master's in S, uh, statistics. Yes, sir. Awesome. Okay. I, uh, the first candidate I believe I have encountered who has done master's in statistics. So I, I had not heard before this, uh -huh. but this is going to be quite useful in data analysis for you, Ashwini. So thank you so much for sharing that. Welcome yes. to Guru Schools and welcome to the new batch of data analysis. Let's hear from Anu. Anu, over to you. Kindly unmute and speak up. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Anu Yadav. I'm from Atlanta, GA. 
Mm -hmm. and uh, i did a bachelor degree in ba journalism and mass communications mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, i don't have a job experience right oh. now i mean till now okay. yeah thank you so much anu for sharing thank that you. Yeah, you're welcome to uh, Guru Schools and new batch of data analysis. And thank you so much for sharing so far. So let's hear from Rajni now. Rajni, over to you. You can unmute and speak up, please. Hello, all. My name is Rajni and I have completed my MSc in chemistry and I'm very new for uh, data analysis. I don't have any experience about IT and all. Okay. No working experience, Rajni? No, sir. Awesome, Rajni. Thank you so much uh, for sharing that. Welcome to Guru Schools. Welcome to Data Thank Analysis you. Track. And looking forward to working with you all. Let's hear from Harini now. Uh, Harini, over to you. Kindly unmute and speak up, please. Hi, my name is Harini. And I'm, I'm speaking from um, California and uh, uh, Bay Area, California. So I uh, I have two bachelors, like I finished mathematics in India and uh, I'm from a computer science and engineering background. I first did my diploma in computer science and engineering and then I did my bachelors in math. So I, I started working in um, software mm -hmm. uh, in India. So right from my campus interview. Mm -hmm. So then I moved to Singapore. Um, and Malaysia, both I uh, was working in financial industry and with 3GL, 4GL as a database. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, I went back to India and I came here working for Price Waterhouse Coopers Gap, uh, Gap Inc., the Old Navy Gap Inc. And then I uh, worked in Pfizer, all uh, everything in the front end and back end. Mm -hmm. And then I I was also a software QA lead, mm -hmm. leading from California, uh, my teams in Chennai and Gurgaon, Delhi. Mm -hmm. And this is my software experience. And But I uh, last 12 and a half, 13 years, I moved to autism field because I wanted to serve those mm -hmm. students. Brilliant. That is why I had this long gap. And um, I just want to now go back to IT. That's why I'm refreshing all my skills. Mm -hmm. uh, this is all about me. And so I also did my business analytics here in us and okay. that's another applied business analytics is my second major that i completed here yeah yeah harini thank you so much for sharing that and uh, welcome to guru schools and uh, welcome to data analysis track so before i move to yamini i have one question to you harini because you are coming from this vast experience you have already worked in the industry and data analysis starting point we serve in a way that uh, anyone who has no IT background can start. And that's the reason we choose very simple, easy approach. Uh, why did you, you choose data analysis to get started with data analysis using Excel? This, the, the same question many people had asked me because you already have the programming experience and you know about the, you have worked in 4GL, the backends yeah. and yeah. Uh, with ETL background. And uh, I've also handled a huge data in GAP right. uh, in database testing. Mm -hmm. Yes, everybody asked me why you want to go as a DA, why not mm -hmm. as a data scientist mm -hmm. directly? But mm -hmm. I want to take a baby steps because I have this, uh, I have to first feel the confidence in me to go as a DA. And then I would definitely, um, once I step in, then I would go as a BA or a data scientist. All right. I appreciate your decision, but uh, quickly a kind of a disclaimer over here before we get uh, take a deep dive. Uh, we will be not very much getting into technical. We will be just starting as a, a layman can understand. So will it be okay for you to learn in that way, Harini? Um, that's why I want to see how 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 deep you go into when when it comes to uh like um i do not know if i can ask okay, about all let that. me like, quickly deep, tell you what i mean i said in that. excel in yeah. technical in 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 terms of technical back uh, skill technical knowledge mm -hmm. how deep you would go into excel i'm not sure like mm -hmm. uh how how deep into pivots and how deep into hmm. Um, macros and functions mm -hmm. uh, in a, I mean sophisticated mm -hmm. functions I'm not uh, uh, I'm not very clear about it 
So mm-hmm. I thought I would just start and I will figure out from you mm-hmm. as to okay. how it So goes. what I said, what I said, uh, we gradually shift the gear. This is going to be in very layman term and we are not going to cover macros. If you have seen the slide uh, earlier, the structure is without macros. We are getting into data analysis. We, the entire focus will be towards uh, identify the data, uh, clean the data and summarize the data, creating dashboard, publishing the report and and uh, visualizing the re- report. So that's the end goal of it. So we will be learning definitely pivot charts and all and, uh, you know, um, uh, summarize the formula and all, but not at all macro. So this is a quick disclaimer. So I believe that uh, because you have chosen the track as your decision, I no worries. I still welcome you, but just wanted to understand with the uh, so much of uh, knowledge and industry experience still you are choosing to start as a fresher that's the reason i asked you harini so all right i understand your intention there so yeah any question on my question harini harini any question um, to my oh, explanation you're, you're, you're asking me so yeah. i was i was asking i was asking no so i did see in the initial um I mean, the first screen that you had showed about the curriculum of the week one and week two and all that. I did see that there is conditional formatting and the pivot tables on the second week and all that. But I'm not sure how deep the of the pivot tables you would go into you how deep you would dive into. But I do have some of the exercises that I need some clarifications. I would keep in touch with you. Sure, Uh, sure. You can definitely for all of you. For anything which you think uh, you don't want to share in the group, but you remain in touch with your trainer, of course, you need to all you need to be in touch with trainer and until you get placed. Okay, so thank you so much, Harini, for sharing that and appreciate your decision and appreciate you joining here in data analysis. Welcome to Guru Schools and welcome to data analysis track. Uh, Let's hear from Yamini and then we'll move to Mega. So Yamini, over to you. Kindly unmute and share. Hi, everyone. My name is Yamini. Uh, I'm from California and I did my master's in um, industrial systems engineering from San Jose State University. And I don't have any IT experience like industry experience. So I have chosen to in Guru School uh, to get in more experience. And what did you yeah. say your educational background, Yamini? Master, master's in industrial systems engineering, okay. ISC. Yeah. And my, I did my bachelor's in computer science. <clears throat> awesome, Yamini. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. for sharing. Welcome Thank to you. Guru Schools and welcome to Data Analysis Track. Uh, Megha, we have just started. Uh, we shared the um, data analysis course structure. We, uh, me as a trainer, have introduced myself. We talked about the quick three principle of data analysis and came down towards the uh, candidate's introduction. So, Megha, over to you. Kindly introduce yourself, your name from where you are connecting, your educational background, as well as in case at all, if you have any working experience. Megha, over to you. Kindly unmute and speak. Hi, sir. My name is Megha. I am from Columbus, Ohio State. Mm -hmm. And uh, I did uh, my master's in computer science and engineering. Mm -hmm. uh, But I don't have any IT experience. So now I'm just trying to um, go through data analysis course. Uh, So I joined Guru School. All right. Just out. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing. So I believe that you said that you don't have any IT experience. And is that true that you don't have any, any other working experience? Other than IT? I have some in teaching. Okay. But and, not in any other. And yeah. how long you have been into teaching? Sir, it's before 2014. And how, how long it for, has been? For one, one, it's just one or two years. Okay. Okay. No problem. Two years. Yeah. Approximate. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Thank you so yes. much, everyone, for sharing your introduction, quick, uh, quickly sharing with me uh, your background and let's get started so what you what we need to do is that um let me ask another question to all of you uh even though you shared that you joined data analysis training and all i want to ask you why you are here in the guru schools you can unmute and you can speak up anyone why you are here in the data analysis in the guru schools To learn something new. To learn something new. Any other answer? 
any one of you can answer that with the confidence that i would get back to it mm -hmm. confidence that you will get back into it learning that's the uh, two answers i have got any other answer what do you think yamini rajni anu vishakha mega uh, jump into it industry jump into it industry very yeah. important yeah anything yeah. else yamini anu vishakha mega anyone yeah, getting an IT, getting an experience in industries, IT industries. Yeah, getting experience in yeah. the industry. Okay, awesome. All right. So, uh, let me quickly tell you. Uh, so, Megha, you can complete. I saw that you uh, you had unmute, uh, uh, unmuted yourself. I just want to understand what is your approach? What is your intention? In fact, uh, so to get a job in IT through this uh, data analysis course. Yeah, brilliant. <clears throat> Thank you so much for sharing. So yes, uh, let me quickly clarify that if you are here for the training, kindly don't be with that intention. Okay, because this is not for training. The complete uh, focus is towards getting place. You may get place through Guru Schools. That's one thing. Always, always welcome because Guru Schools will be working uh, towards your placement. The how it happens, uh, out of 100, 80 people show up, 100 people enrolled, 80 people show up in the game, in the game of learning, okay? Out of 80 people, uh, only 20 people commit to follow every single thing which are taught to them, okay? And out of those 20 people, only 20% 20 of them Take everything, whatever it takes towards getting placed and those 20% only get placed. It means if you your intention is not clear, if you know, if you, if you don't know this calculation, there are chances you will remain the part of 80% people, but not the 4%. Who are the 4%? 4% who know the end goal and who do all it takes to get place and do everything whatever it requires to get place so you need to just check with yourself are you here only for the training but genuinely for getting place so if you are genuinely for getting place then we must follow whatever it takes otherwise internet is full of the information when you will go to youtube you will learn every single thing what we don't teach here that is also very important because if we'll keep on teaching you each and everything then you will keep on spending time uh, months after months and months after months over here but we only teach you what is required you for you to take the first step towards it once you get placed once you start working then that is going to make more and more sense to you and gradually you gain more experience and you become the part of the it itself so is it clear the step why we are not teaching everything which is all over the internet, but we are, we have designed this training uh, so that it will help you in a step by step by step by step manner. Is it clear to all of you? And do you all agree with this approach? Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes, After, apart from this there is method to teach there are two types of teaching one that may sound very complicated and yet very interesting the second approach is that things get more super simplified and you believe that huh that is so simple anyone can do it even i can do it so this will remain very simple and yet effective so which one do you want to choose? The first one, complicated and yet interesting, or second one, the simple yet effective. Which one you want to choose? Simple one. <laughs> simple second one, the one. second one. Yeah. Thank you so much. Second I appreciate one. that. Okay. So if second one, then I want to welcome one more time to all of you. Having said so, we have known why we are here just to get place and why we want to get place because we want to make a little money out of it. Okay, so uh, we know, and one more time, uh, this is here your structure. I want to uh, bring back the structure in front of you that what we are going to learn and here it is going to be scheduled. Okay, so how we are going to remain connected? Thursday at 9 p.m. EST, uh, you will attend the technical session. Okay, 
and uh, uh, Friday, I I'm just uh, giving you this. You can take a screenshot of it. I'm going to explain about it a little later. So, uh, and uh, yeah. So why you want to undergo this training? It is very, very clear. Why you want to get place? It is clear. Uh, of course, you want to make money. That's that's right. Is uh, Do you all agree and resonate with this? We are all over here into learning to get place so that we can become dependent and we can earn our own money. Do you all agree with that? You can unmute and say yes. 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 Yeah. Thank yes. you so much. Yes. So remember, this is going to be eight weeks of journey means two months of journey and uh, with whatever momentum you have joined it uh, not necessary the same momentum will remain at the eighth week there are chances life may happen or, or you may uh, uh, hit by various thoughts that uh, you know uh, I will take one step later I today I'm not joining I will uh, learn uh, you know through recording or, or this week I want to skip or something like that many things may happen but uh, and do you all uh, understand that there are chances you can't can't predict your entire two months that how you're going to learn do you agree with that yes yes yeah yes so to, to understand and make things really, really more, uh, you know, connected with you, uh, I'm going to share something with you, which I have uh, uh, inquired from the very previous, uh, you know, uh, trainers uh, when he started this batch, not this batch, in fact, this data analysis training. And from the past students, we have something what we created as a code of honor. What we have created, everyone? Code of, 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 of honor is a ground rules. Like you see that whenever you go to any companies, you get to hear about seven principle or something like that, their values and all. Do you, Have you ever seen any company which they talk about, you know, their principle and their values? I'm sure you might have. Uh, yeah, anyone? they come up with something called, they have something called a mission and vision statement. Yeah, so mission, they, vision and values. So values are core values and, um, you know, code of honors. So likewise, uh, like Guru Schools has uh, six pillars, okay? They call it uh, six pillars. When you become the part of Agile, uh, what is Agile? Agile is a method of delivering a software, okay? So Agile is a, a software development methodology. Like Agile comes with the 12 principle of Agile. And uh, Agile has got the Scrum framework, okay? framework means what the approach okay and approach also has have the um you know uh values they have the four four values scrum four values likewise for this training also i have designed something what we call it as a code of honor or core values or guidelines so i am going to reveal in front of you all so are you all ready can i share that with you so that will remain connected with each and everything by following that. And that will be coming in front of you as a reminder every single day if you are in my session. Okay. Let me know if you all can see my screen. Can you all see my screen, everyone, now? The new screen where yes. Yes. At some, yes, uh, it appears as COH, Code of Honor. So I have just now spoken about Agile. Okay. And did you get what when I said what is Agile? Do you all understand? Do you all uh, understand when? Yeah. Something, uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I said, now understand, now let, let me go back to uh, another uh, approach. When I said Agile is a software development methodologies. Okay. Say, for example, you are at the, um, you are uh, standing in front of a building, uh, building of multiple stories. Okay. And uh, it's a hundred floor uh, building. Your goal is to reach to the hundred floor. Okay. And uh, to reach to that hundred floor, there are three, two, three methods. One, you choose the steps and go to the hundred floor. Another is you choose uh, a escalator and go to the hundred floor. Third one is use lift and go to the escalator. So how many methods we have to reach to the hundred floor? Three. Three methods. Yeah. So, but in that three method also, say for example, you choose uh, method number two, that is using the lift, okay? Now, 
this method will have a framework okay framework says that okay we will give you four or five di different lift not every lift will go to the 100 floor okay we will let you reach to the uh, 100 floor in a step by step manner in a way that first you will get you need to get inside the first floor so that it will go to the 15th floor uh, and in the 15th floor you will switch the um, switch the lift and you will go to the third floor and from 100 floor uh, sorry uh, you go to the third lift and from the third lift you will go up to the 75th floor and then you need to get into uh, on the third floor you will have to change the lift and go to the fifth floor a uh, fifth lift and from fifth floor uh, fifth lift you will reach to the 100th floor okay so this is how the entire lift system works and ultimately it will let you touch the 100th floor is it clear how it has been designed these floor uh, lift system and flooring system yeah yes yeah, yeah. so Likewise, like you have understood that from source to destination, you have to reach from uh, ground floor to uh, the top floor. If you have to reach, you have different methods available and different frameworks available. Likewise, for our software delivery, there are different methods. One very known and ancient method to which we used to call it as a uh, waterfall model. What we used to call it as everyone? Waterfall model. Waterfall, Waterfall model. model. Yeah. Something happened in year 2001 and 2, uh, where 18 uh, software engineers came together and they decided that waterfall approach is really taking longer time. It is just like a step. Okay. You get exhausted and, uh, uh, before you deliver. Okay. The moment you deliver, you realize that entire system and technology have gone older and things require to be upgraded. So waterfall is really not working. And uh, then that is the time when they introduce another methodology to which we call it as agile methodology. Okay. You understand that? What is the approach of Agile methodology to deliver continuously, to deliver frequently, to deliver uh, rapidly? Means what? You deliver a small portion of a larger software uh, frequently. You get it? A larger software. When I say larger software, it means that, say, for example, a bank comes to you and imagine you are a company. You yourself is a company. One new bank emerged into the market, came to you, okay? And they say you, hey, Anu, Ashwini, or Harini, Mega, Rajini, Vishaka, Yamini. So I am at the bank and I want to get launched tomorrow into the market with my softwares and uh, I, I, I help me to get launched quickly. So you will inquire something, okay, why do you want to get launched into the market? Uh, what all you will do, okay? You will understand to the uh, customer, right? You will understand why they want to get launched. Yes or yes? Do you all agree? Yes. Yeah. So uh, when you will uh, understand them, why they want to la launch their objective, it will be very easy for you to uh, help them to get launched so they say that i want my customer to not to uh, uh, not to go to atms or bank uh, even if they have to check the just normal uh, uh, balance uh, account balance they don't need to go to the bank even if they need to open any new account they need not to go to the bank in case uh, uh, they have to do a fund transfer um, so you understand, okay, this bank wants uh, some modules like uh, uh, account opening, uh, account balance, uh, fund transfer, and, uh, you know, uh, fund transfer, even for loan, uh, loan module to be enabled into their online banking system, right? You with me so far and understanding what I said just now? Yes. Yeah. And uh, you all can unmute and speak up. Yeah, you can ask. Yes. Yeah, thank yes. you so much for confirmation. So when this happens, then now you will uh, ask the customer, is it okay if I understand that you as a bank want to get launched with all these 
five things in one day or two days or 15 days we cannot deliver everything with you but we can help you to get started with your business what if i'll give you privilege to add new customer and open their new account can you start from there because not everyone will get started with fund transfer then say you say as a uh, you hear from the bank that's a brilliant idea help me to get started to add new customer and uh, uh, add account uh, against them so you agree with that and you decide first in immediate few days i will deliver two module that is account opening and adding new customer okay and like you delivered say for example in 15 days th these two module you decided more two weeks or 15 days i will work and we will deliver more to new module again after that again i will add new two module and again after that new two module and likewise i will work in slots 15 days 15 days 15 days 15 days 15 days or say one month one month one month and will keep on delivering two 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 modules until their entire system they receive and we will integrate and uh uh, integrate together everything and let them use the entire system as a whole okay so you agree to deliver in a uh, two tool modules in a smaller smaller duration do you all agree with this and able to understand what i said yes yeah yes. so this is how yes. the approach had been and in in this in this methods where where you decided that you will deliver into certain duration certain modules you also do various meetings making sure that your promise to get uh, delivery of the software gets fulfilled okay and when you do uh, various meetings uh in agile world it is called as ceremonies what it is called everyone these meetings ceremony ceremonies, ceremonies. and agile is full of ceremonies okay ceremonies means meetings all right so I believe you have understood the concept so far towards the software delivery, how the larger software broken down into the smaller, smaller module and gets delivered. Did you all understand so far? Say yes, if you understood. Yes. Okay, yes. awesome. That's brilliant. So anyone can understand whether you have technical knowledge and non -techni uh, no technical knowledge. Okay, so we have designed something, what we call it as a code of honor. So let's understand and follow what is code of honor is. So code of honor says that you show up live. You show up live means you be on time, remain punctual and highly committed. Say for example, you are joining the company as a data analyst. Data analyst is the part of the team, agile team. Okay. Uh, why I'll be, you will see me uh, using the word agile more and more frequently. Okay. Because the world is... Uh, more or less towards the agile delivery model okay and they have some uh, certain uh, you know uh, shorter team those are also called as scrum team what they are called as everyone part of scrum team what they are called as i said scrum team what they are called as everyone scrum team scrum team and, scrum yeah and are you are you noticing that i am asking you more question uh and asking you to, you know, repeat after me. Do you know why why I'm asking you and why I'm choosing this way? Pronunciations and uh, remember something. Exactly, I know. You are absolutely yeah. right. When I say and when you Thank repeat you. that, that retains in your memory. And there are chances that you will not forget it. And that's why I need your help when I ask you a question and you need to repeat, kindly repeat that so that when you come back, you are uh, already uh, means uh, holding the authority onto those terminology and language. And that's the reason I'm asking you to repeat. So understand now. Ag uh, uh, so data analysis in agile methodology will become the part of scrum team. So what is the, what is terminology I used? Which team, everyone? Scrum team. Scrum team. And all of you can unmute and speak up uh, until unless you are not contributing into your home, but contributing into class, you can speak <laughs> up. 
Okay. Scrum team. Yeah. 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 Thank you so scrum much. Team. I truly appreciate your responses. Mm -hmm. So Scrum team uh, demands you to be on time, remain punctual and remain highly committed because Agile is full of ceremonies. Okay. So once you practice it over here, there are very easy chances. Once you get place, you will start replicating it over there. So that's number one. And second one, there is a universal law which says that, which I have learned from one of my mentors. He taught me that how you do anything is how you do everything. Okay. So that is the very first code of honor is showing up live. So you need to, that's the reason you need to, you need to follow it over here. Okay. So this is the very first code of honor. What is the second code of honor? Second code of honor says that because you are starting your journey, in the training, you automatically become the uh, student. But my request is that you don't be the student. You be the full stack student. What kind of student, everyone? Full stack. Full stack. Full stack, yeah. full stack student full means stack what? Student. Full stack student means what? It's not full stack developer. Full stack student means who does all the assignments, do self-research, and repeat whatever you have learned. Why repeat whatever you have learned and do the self-research with the topic you have learned and doing all the assignments because that is going to prepare you for you to get placed. What kind of assignment you will get from me? There will be two type of assignment. One will be said assignment. Second one will be unsaid assignment. Unsaid assignment, whatever you will learn, okay, that you need to summarize. How you can summarize? How will I get to know that you, you are summarizing? There are uh, various ways. You are just looking yourself at the mirror and you are summarizing whatever you have learned. So that is one way. But I need to know that whether you have summarized it or not. For that, what you can choose? Simple method. You can just quickly in the world of digital because every business is moving, moving towards digital. You will be participating into the various agile meeting. Once you get place, you need to face, uh, you know, various team members. So amongst our team, in front of our team, what you can do is that, in fact, WhatsApp group is where you have enrolled. Wh whatever you have learned in less than 90 seconds, whatever you have learned, you can record your learning or summarize your learning and you can post that. So that I'm not going to ask you to do everything that has to be unsaid. The moment you attain a training with us, that you are going to summarize and uh, repeat back, uh, uh, submit back into the WhatsApp group. And that will let me understand whether you are getting confidence, whether you are getting hang of the topic, whether you are becoming gradually expert into that topic. Because based on that only, you are going to face the interview. Is it clear to you all? Yes. The idea behind yes. unsaid assignment? Yes. Now, yes. yes. Thank you so yes. much. Yes. Then what is going to be the said assignment? The said assignment where I'll be asking, hey, you need to go ahead and this is the tool I'm talking about and these are the assignment with this tool you have to do. I'll be asking you to do, okay? And that will not happen daily, but definitely it is going to get started. The more we are going to take a deep dive towards the topic, that is the time where you are going to have this clarity, okay? Have this said assignment. Two types of assignments, said and unsaid assignment. So this becomes the part of full stack student that is code of honor number two. Third one, taking the full responsibility. See, when you do whatever it is taught, you eventually attract one thing that is success. But when you don't do that, you will also still attract something to which we call it as a failure. But there are quite so easy to take the full responsibility of success, but it becomes very much difficult and uh, oh, anyone can become hesitant of taking responsibility of failure. But let me quickly uh, break a myth. The moment you take the responsibility of failure, there are chances you may correct that. Do you all agree with that? Yes. The, yeah. Yes, so yes. the moment you will understand the failure and you take the full responsibility, you may correct that. And that failure becomes the trail to the success that does not remain a failure anymore. And that is the very reason I want each one of you to take the responsibility of both the element that is success or failure. Whether you get placed or you don't get placed within a month or two or three, you need to know 
if something is not happening why it is not happening own that correct that and you know repeat towards the success and get blessed so that should be the journey okay before you get blessed the fourth one to do so it really requires a concrete mindset okay when i talk about concrete mindset let's understand today you have learned so far uh, about the software methodology let me also talk about uh, project management approach project management today um is embracing you know uh one uh not only just agile methodology it is also embracing scaled agile what it is embracing everyone project management scaled scaled agile. Agile. Scaled scaled agile. Agile. so in scaled the scaled agile. agile and recent project management body of knowledge they embrace one thing to which we call it as a continuous learning and that comes from lean approach lean is the another methodology so these are this is the just name saying you can understand and in that lean methodology in scaled agile and in latest project management body of knowledge the first mindset which i am going to reveal in front of you has become very very popular and that you need to embrace that says the continuous learning and from there this has in evolved as a learning mindset so forgetting all the terminology whatever i have said you need to adopt this and uh, mindset that is the learning mindset the more continued continuous learner you will become you will find yourself going more positive minded why need to become positive minded because it is the journey towards the software delivery. Do you all agree? At the end, you are going to deliver what? Software. Do you all agree with me? Yes. 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 So software delivery, software either sometimes fails or sometimes it uh, entire thing passes. Okay. It works the way we wanted it to work. So to have such uh, output, let it work the way we wanted it to work. It requires a concrete, positive mind mindset more learner you become more positive minded you become more positive minded you will become you will en embrace the leadership approach means you will go more complaint free more complaint free you will become you will find eventually getting loaded and soaked in more gratitude okay gratitude leads to the happiness and happiness is today's new productivity of the corporate every Every corporate want their uh, candidate to be highly productive, and that comes through the happiness. And for uh, and that's the reason corporates work uh, and brings various training program towards customer happiness and towards uh, employee happiness as well. Because I have a question. Yes. Sorry to interrupt because um, probably I might miss it. That's why. Um. So we were talking about the scale, the agile, and all that, right? Mm -hmm. So. I'm a little bit I'm uh, uh, distracted here. So, in what way these mind uh, you mean to say for to for us to get into that uh, deep dive into that? Uh, no, no. Uh, did I say that? Agile no. environment. Do we need to have this mindset, mm -hmm. or uh, where are we connecting this to that? Okay. So I'm just, uh, I said agile methodology, right? And I said that scaled agile is the another enhanced methodology. And I also said that you don't need to get into that. I also talked about project management. It, it just for the sake of knowing you need to know this terminology, but you don't need to take a deep dive into that. You are here just for data analysis. I'm just talking about a code of honor and why I'm sharing you that detail I'm sharing that with you. Okay, Harini, did I answer your question or you wanted to ask anything else? Is it your question why I'm learning? Why did you use this terminology? Was it your question? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm just connecting that what is part of what and where it, things are going to use and why this code of honor is gate you need to follow. So I'm just connecting towards that because software delivery comes under project delivery and project delivery uh, and under project delivery comes the, you know, um, module delivery. So module delivery is part of the, uh, with using what method you use that, or using what method you deliver that. And that's the reason you need to know a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, terminology, like 
project management, you have heard one terminology, you heard agile, one terminology. I'm not going to teach you entirely into detail. Our focus is going to be data analysis only. But since this is day one, I'm just opening up and expanding everything that why you need to know and have such a code of honor. Is it clear now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyone, any questions so far? Means when you are understanding, it may sound very simple yet. And why it is useful into the IT that also I am where I am going, uh, I'm connecting you. Yeah. Because once you get placed, things should not feel more, you know, heavy to you, but it should feel more easy to you. Is it okay to all of you? Yes. You can unmute and say yes. Okay. Yes. yes. So, yes. so yes. this is the context which is preparing you for reality once you get placed. So this is this kind of mindset to which I call it as a concrete mindset. The fifth one, uh, in this journey of learning, you need to be a giver. Okay, Why, mm -hmm. what kind of a giver? You need to be a giver because many of you are coming from the, uh, you know, vast background and you still you chose to learn. Okay. And if you are learning from the scratch, uh, you know, your past mind may come and it may compare. This is not how I have uh, learned or used because company differs and varies and embracing the new learning may go a little tougher. And for that very reason, you need to become two type of giver. Okay. One giver. Uh, because you are learning or uh, relearning without any judgment, first learn and then go back and then compare after the learning is over if you have the past knowledge, okay? And ask the right question, pointed question to get the right answer. So what, uh, what uh, you need to be given is you need to keep ego away on the path of learning because when you are relearning especially, why? Because that keeps you more spiritually grounded on the path of growth. When I say sp more spiritually grounded, means your happiness level increases to, uh, to contribute more with the efficiency and more productivity. And that is the need of the corporate, as I said. Okay, And that's the reason keeping uh, ego away makes you more spiritually grounded on the path of growth. And because you are here, you said that you want to make more money after learning and after getting placed. So uh, I'm just uh, sharing this, what uh, uh, I have uh, used for my 8,000 students to follow. Have an intention of the charity. Start giving away 5% or 10% of your earning. It is said that what you want more of, start giving away a little bit of portion of. Okay. So when you give away 5% and 10% of that, not just to do this charity. Charity means you can give away of your earning 5 to 10%, uh, whether in whatever causes you believe in, feeding or, or uh, feeding. Uh, uh, means hungry children or donating to orphanages or, or uh, you know, old age home or temple, churches, mosque, wherever you believe in. Why? When you give, you grow. When, when you receive, you may survive. And I'm sure you are not here just for the survival, but for the growth. So, and just don't give away for the sake of growth, but also to inspire others. And while you do so, remember to appreciate what you do what others do for you and even what does not happen to you after so much of a, you know effort you are not gaining something concrete what you wanted to continue to appreciate and that appreciates you back that's the universal law and the sixth that is the very interesting last but the not less that before you do all of this, start your day with increased receptivity increased receptivity means what means um, you, your productivity sh should go high. Everything what you are doing in your uh, daily activity should fall in a positive manner. Your outcome outcomes should be very, very positive. And for that very reason, I generally recommend my all the students to participate in a 30 days challenge. That is a one audio program. Uh, you need to just plug yourself in this 30 days audio challenge. That's a 40 minutes long, um, you know, um, uh, 40 minutes long program. Uh, uh, what you call audio program that you can take, uh, get the link after the session. You just need to ping me and say, I want to participate into 30 days challenge. And that 30 days challenge make you really highly, uh, uh, you know, uh, efficient, productive and make things that uh, make things in a way that it is uh, falling in a very uh, positive manner towards you. And you will see how things are moving very uh, positively in your uh, life, especially towards uh, uh, getting place. 
So that's the reason I recommend this uh, 40 minutes program, 40 minutes that you can put it into 2x and finish it just uh, within 20 minutes. So that's the reason this is called as 30 days challenge that you need to listen to audio program every single 30 days. Uh, every single day for 30 days okay in case you break one day restart uh, from the next day for the next 30 days the link you can get once you ping me uh, and this is not mandatory this is just optional if you want you can do that if you don't want that's okay okay that is something additional now we are going to learn some technology technical stuff and it should be quite easy for you to understand do you all want that whatever you are going to learn should be very easy to understand yes or yes you can unmute yes. and say yes thank yes. you yes. so for that very reason yes. i have something that i designed what we call it as a golden quadrant of learning that we are going to follow for the learning what is golden quadrant of learning golden quadrant of learning comes with four steps okay golden quadrant of learning comes with the four step just give me a second uh, okay golden quadrant comes with the four step and what are those four step that i am going to tell you very very soon so first step that says that um, just give me a second Okay, so what is golden quadrant of learning? Golden quadrant of learning says this. The first step, it says that declare with the anchor. Okay, what declare? You are going to declare something with the anchor. Do you all know what is anchor? Okay. No. Ah, okay, so how many of you have seen ship at harbor? I, I believe many of you have seen the ship in the harbor. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And have you noticed that ship when it is standing tall at the harbor, it has the anchor and anchor that holds it tight. Have you all seen that? Anchor is straight in the oh, yes, yes. water. Yes. yes. Okay. The anchoring so, the ship. So anchoring the ship. Stop. So what yeah. what will happen if there won't be any anchor for the ship? What will happen? What do you think? that keeps floating on the water and it get, it might not you cannot control it you cannot control it Stop and it. yeah it may drift away in in a nutshell you can say that right it will drift away from the location so likewise uh you have a ship in your body and to that ship i call it as a focus if the focus is not anchored in every five second and seven second, there are chances this focus will continue to drift away. Okay, where it will drift away, it will get lost in the ocean of thoughts. Your focus may get lost in the ocean of thought. And do you all agree with that? Yes or yes? Yes. 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 And that focus requires anchor because because your thoughts ocean of thoughts are the part in the body because your focus inside your body and mind that's the reason we will have to put some anchor which has been the part of your body only okay and that anchor will be body movement what it is going to be everyone body, body movement, and body that, movement. that has been there is a science and engineering behind it that i'm not going to into detail of it okay so to which I call it generally as NLP. So that I'm going to bring it over here. And that more body movement is going to be a self high five or the clap. So what be, uh, exactly we are going to do? We are going to declare some uh, statement and we will put anchor to that statement. Once done, then we are going to take a deep dive into deep learning then. Okay. And then we will draw you will draw whatever you have learned within 24 hours. Within how, how many time, everyone? 
in 24 hours. 24 hours. So once your learning is done, within 24 hours, you are going to draw it. Means you are going to create a note after your learning is done using your pen and paper. And then you are going to summarize it. We have talked about unsaid assignment. That unsaid assignment is going to be your summary. So what you will do? First, you will declare. You will anchor. You will learn. And then you will uh, create notes after the learning and then summarizing it back. Is the steps clear, everyone? Yes. 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 To all of you. Yes. So let's get yes. started before we take a deep dive. How we are going to get started? We are going to get started with the declaration of the statement that is selected on your screen. Can you all see the uh, statement which is selected on the screen in blue? Can you all see the blue selected? Yes. yes. Sir. Yeah. Yes. How we are yes. going to do? At yes. the count of three, we are going to put the anchor. Anchor is nothing but a cell five five or the clap. So at the count of three. When I will say one, two, three and clap, you're going to clap and then repeat once I read this statement after me. Is it clear to all of you? Yes. For first time, it yes. may sound yes. little awkward, yes. but later you will be eventually because everything we are going to do it for our own self, for our own placement, and we will be ready to do that. All right. So let's get started. All of you can unmute and let's get started. One, two, three and clap and repeat. I am a quick learner. I'm a quick learner. I'm a quick, quick learner. learner. Not... What others can learn and master. What others can learn and master. I took uh, I too can do that. I can too. I, I too can do that. that. One more time for the second statement. After I read, you read. Okay. okay. One, okay. two, three, and clap one more time. Clap and say, because I'm an awesome learner. Because, because I'm an awesome, awesome learner. learner. Today's learning is Today's going to be. Today's learning is going to be super duper easy to me. Super, 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 easy, super, easy, to me. super easy to me. Yes, it is going to be because you have said so and you will see that. Okay. And remember, anchor is very, very important because you know if ship is not getting anchored, it will drift away. And anchor was the self clap, that is the self I fi. So that's the thing. And if you have anchored, that's awesome. Before we take a deep dive into the deep learning, let me quickly tell you this thursday you are going to meet me for technical session here 9 pm est parallelly you have to attend rrp session okay rrp session is a reference ready uh -huh. resume preparation this is never recorded technical session will be recorded but rrp session will this be recorded what i said will this be no, recorded no, no. no. and no. every single time you will find it to be repeated but still, I am telling, even though it is repeated, you have to attend RRP session. Why? Because that creates the visibility that you exist in Guru School. That creates the credibility. You are here not just for the training. You are here for the placement. And third, it enhances your marketability. Your HR will see to you and they understand you are the genuine person. You are not here for the training and your ultimate goal is to get placed and they will get a mental push to market your CV towards the placement. Is it clear to all of you why you need to attend RRP session every single time, even if it is rep repeated? Is it yes. clear? Yes. 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 So I yes. know I totally understand all of you. Sometimes it may sound boring and you will say, Gaurav, why should I uh, repeat it? Trust me, you need your job. Just bear with me for a few months until you get placed and please do it and please repeat it. Anything apart from training, you are going to ask the question in the RRP session only. Okay. That I, that I might not answer because that is not related with the training track. Is it clear now, everyone, why RRP yes. session? Yeah. Yes. Thank you so yes. much for understanding. Yes. Friday, again, is going to be technical session that we are going to get connected at 9 p.m. EST. Saturday, you are going to do the assignment, said or unsaid, whatever the assignment that you have learned on Thursday, that you will deliver it on Saturday. Whatever you have learned on Friday, that you are going to deliver on Sunday. And Monday, you can go back, repeat whatever you have learned, and do the research if some new terminology hits you and made you more interested. Uh, you can research, explore, and uh, do uh, do a lot of work related to that. And do the assignment if at all you could not do on Saturday or Sunday. Prepare your question that you can answer on, uh, that you can get answer of that on Thursday. So that is going to be your Monday plan. Tuesday, again, RRP session happens. 
Okay. So if you have attended on Thursday, uh, should you attend on Tuesday or not? Yes. 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 Because just now you said, uh, and I understood what is the importance of that. So importance is the same visibility, credibility, and marketability. That's how you are going to do it. And the Wednesday, you can choose to relax and have a breather day. So apart from technical session, things will not take more than 30 minutes from you. So can you all agree to spend at least 15 to 30 minutes daily for this? Can you all? Yes. 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 And do you yes. all agree now? Now, today was the first day. That's the reason I went in so much detail in explaining this code of honor. The rest of all day, you will see just I'll opening it as a reminder and not going in more details of it. So do we all agree to follow this code of honor, everyone? Yes. Say yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Awesome. Yes. Thank you yes. so much. And like today, we are interacting. Every single day, we are going to interact. I have just now done what? I have done just now these all things. I have understood why you are here, why you want to get place and uh, uh, code of honor I have talked about, okay, to which I have called as a ground rules, disciplines and yeah, code of honor means there are certain codes, come what may, come what may we are going to honor that and that is the reason it is called as a code of honor, okay. So, uh, because today is the first day, we will learn something, but we will not get into the detail of it and will not get more feel overwhelmed and overloaded. But still, something we have to learn. I am bringing that in front of you. All are you ready for this, everyone? Yes, yes. sir. Oh, yes. Awesome. yes, sir. Thank you. So first, you understand what is data analysis, okay? And I want someone to read this as per Wikipedia, what does it say? So anyone, you can unmute uh -huh. and speak up, any one of you. Yeah, data analysis is a process of inspecting, cleansing, transforming, and modeling data with the goal of discovering useful information, informing conclusions, and supporting decision-making. Awesome, brilliant. Thank you so much for reading this out. So understand, you are analyzing the data. So there are uh, types of data. Data could be, uh, you know, uh, jar jargon of the data. Data could be the junk data. Data could be uh, various type of data you keep on take, uh, receiving, okay? So you need to inspect that data. When you have inspected those data are useful, you will clean it. They may appear in a various format, okay? Various format means either they are readable and they are not readable. With me so far? So say for example, let me do some activity in front of you. So uh, let me do some activity in front of you. So I'm going to draw some data, okay, for you. Two types of data. One I have written here data that you can read easily. Right? You can read this. Yes or yes? You can yes. read it, right? Yes. Now yes. I am again going to write some data. Okay. Can you un read this? Understand it? What it is written? We can yeah, read it, I but we don't read, understand. But... You don't understand. Yeah. Out of characters, right? but we cannot understand what You cannot understand. Yeah. So, see what happens exactly. You will get two types of data. Few data you can read it well. Few data you cannot read it. So, such data that you cannot read it, you need to clean them up. Okay? So, that cleaning we are talking. There are process to clean them up that we are going to know and understand. Okay? So I just wanted to bring over here in this example, two types of data. You will get to see such data as well. This data, you know, this KD starting with dollar and all. So that you will see such kind of data as well. When data is coming from the source, source could, could be anything. Okay. Understand so far what I said, two yes. types of data. Yes. One is readable, yes. one is not readable. So we have to work on the uh, data to clean so that you can read. Okay, that should be the first step. Okay, then you need to transform that data. The moment you clean that data, it becomes readable. The moment it becomes readable, it means that you have transformed that data. Okay, 
So once you transform that data, then you will model that data. What do we mean by modeling that data? Exactly you will analyze, exactly you will compare, exactly you will, uh, if necessary, copy from one location to another location, okay? So that you can, based on those data, you can explore some information and you can reach out to the conclusion, say for example, if you are reading a data for one company which has taken some approach uh, in doing their marketing and research and they have reached to the uh, 15 million uh, revenue, say for example. And today uh, they are figuring how I can enhance my revenue. So they want to understand what all activity they have done in the past. Okay, so they will list down towards the sales what they did, towards the marketing what they did, towards hiring what they did, towards the customer acquisition what they did, from what domain they have done. They will understand and read on which month what all the steps they have taken. They read it through the data what they had from the past and based on the trend and based on the uh, you know changes, uh, when they read it, they will take some decision. And do you know that decision impacts where? Businesses. De exactly. You are absolutely right. Bang on. Every decision, every decision impacts the business. And that should be the goal of any data analyst. Give the analysis in a way that can help the business to take the right decision at the right time eventually it will boil down towards the business growth of the company. Is it clear what is data analysis and how does it help and what is the core goal of it? Yes. 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 Awesome. yes. So let me quickly tell how does it uh, grow? It grow with the objective. You know what exactly you need to do. Okay. Then you, this is the life cycle of data analytics. You can take the screenshot of it. Why screenshot of it? Because this PPT, we are not allowed to share with you. Okay. We can only deliver because this is the guru school's property. So we are only allowed to share the, you know, PPT uh, during the training, but it is not allowed to, it is not allowed to share. Okay. So first one is your objective should be clear. Wait a second. Let me, in fact, enhance it so that it will be more readable for you. So just give me a second. I'm just enhancing it out. Yeah. So is it readable now, everyone? Yes. Readable? Yeah. Yes. Cool. So first, you need to uh, find the objective, what you want to do and why you want to do. And then you understand that data, what exactly is appearing. Once you understand data from where it is coming, for what it is coming, there are chances you will be able to clean that data. The moment you will clean that data, after cleaning only, it can be transformed so that it can be read properly. When read properly, based on the graph and train, you can and you can decide to enhance those data, which will become more clear that what you have analyzed, what the trend you have an uh, uh, trend you have identified, and then you contribute it towards the analytics. Analytics is means that you will compare more in detail and get some summary of the data. Okay, when you get the summary of data in in a nutshell, I will show you when using Excel how does it look like. Okay. So there it comes the data analytics as the next step. Once you have the clarity that contribution of data in what terms and for what legend and for what purpose, when you have this clarity, then only based on that, you can create a dashboard and in dashboard, you can visualize the entire data all at once. So how does it flow? It flows with the objective with the understanding of data, cleaning and transformation of data, enhancement of data, analytics of data, and visualization of data. And this is the life cycle of data analytics. Is it clear I to all of you? Question. Yeah, I have a quick question. Yeah, please ask. So um, what tools and what tasks differ data transformation and data enhancements? 
okay what tools and task so tools i'll i'll tell you there are various tools okay but here what we are going to learn which tool we are going to use everyone excel excel excel, excel and sql, SQL. So and SQL. our focus will be excel and sql there are multiple tools there are uh, like power bi and tableau and all we are not going to get into details of that but whenever you will uh, uh, sql will uh, start there another trainer mr vivek is there who will give you glimpse of tableau okay but those tool will bring you towards the uh, you know data cleaning and data transformation process in excel we will use one terminology which we will ca uh, call it as a etl what we call it as everyone etl etl yeah. yeah so etl yeah. Will... someone says something mm -hmm. Ex atl means extract transform and load and this load. is the three step process that will be using for data cleaning and transformation okay and there in that you will see how data is getting cleaned and transformed using three step process extract transform and load is it clear to all of you so i don't want to get in more detail of it but for now you need to understand is it okay? Yes. I'm allowed to go yes. ahead. Yes. Uh, yes. You also yes. got it, right? Awesome. Yes. Awesome. So let's understand after this what comes next. So how we are going to learn uh, data analysis using Excel in the first step. So what is going to be first step? I want someone to read the first step for me, please. Step one, data cleaning using tableau. Select first column and then go to the data and select text to column. Could you also read the step, step two, please? A step two, conditional formatting. By using rules, you can specify any number of formatting conditions. Yeah, thank you so much. So it is very much clear that it is going to be in four step where first you are going to learn about text to column approach and column to text approach, okay, for data cleaning purpose. Second, you will also learn the conditionally uh, conditional formatting using Excel. And as this, this is designed data analysis using Excel for the beginners. So we are not going into very, very in depth of it. Okay. It should be as easy for as you so that you can start getting entry into IT. Okay. It has been designed for you to take entry into IT. Okay. That's it. And that's the reason we are not going more technical into it and, and more in depth of it. This is designed for the beginners. Even if you don't have IT experience, you still can enter into IT. Is it okay for you? Yes. You get it? Yes. You're getting yes. how it is yes. designed? Yes. Then at the yeah. same third, you will learn how you can sort those data, create filters. And then in the fourth step, you will learn pivot table because from pivot table you will create dashboard and you will uh, from pivot table you will create charts and then dash dashboard and then you can visualize entire data in that is it clear this is the first step journey and that we are going to complete in four weeks yes yes awesome. yes, yes. so how it is going to come so it is going to come with the excel then you need to understand so just bear with me to one more slide and then i may leave you so what is excel or spreadsheet as per top tech definition i want someone to read uh, the left side this paragraph for me please this one anyone who has not excel is a... yeah go ahead okay go 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 ahead Excel is a spreadsheet program from Microsoft and a component of its Office product group for business applications. Microsoft Excel enables users to format, organize, and calculate data in a spreadsheet. Thank you so much for reading this out. So when we are talking about spreadsheet, it may look like this. There are the tons of data in this, various data. And that data gives you the pivot. Uh, um, that, that could be the output of a pivot table that gives you the summary of data, that gives you chart and all. So this is how it may look like when you work in the Excel sheet, okay? You understand this is a program, Excel sheet is a program coming from the Microsoft suit, okay? And this is the app, uh, this is application. Using that, you can uh, analyze more, take a decision based on that. And this gives you, gives you, um, 
opportunity to calculate various data as as i believe someone is coming from the statistic background so it will be quite easy for you okay when you will get into the detail of it towards creating pivot table and before that you will learn um, various uh, you know statistical approach like uh, you know i'm not going to name them because that may con uh, uh, make uh, confuse that what name exactly you so whatever you might have learned in to the statistic that you may encounter while doing the data analysis task uh, during your third week or fourth week okay is it clear? So what is Excel that gives you ease to calculate data and present data? That's it. You And that is one of the Microsoft products. So what if you don't have Microsoft Excel? What are the alternatives? Any idea? Maybe G Sheet. Okay. Google Sheet can be one. Anything else? So I'll quickly tell you, in case you don't have Microsoft Office, there are free version of, uh, you know, spreadsheets available that you can Google it out. And if you name that I know and remember is Open Office. Okay, Open Office uh, from there you can uh, download some spreadsheet and all, and then you can start working. Google Sheet is one of the example. Uh, then you can uh, use Microsoft Office, Microsoft Office Cloud version, as well as the application, Windows application version. So this is all Microsoft Excel is required for you. So make sure you're uh, you're logging in tomorrow. You are logging in with the um, laptop. Tomorrow means further sessions and you have Excel with you. Is it clear to all of you? You can say yes. yes. Yeah, yes. yes, it is clear. Thank you so much. The last slide. OK, so this is this is uh, when you will work well. The visualization may appear like that. You saw the in the previous, it was the part of pivot table. But when you will summarize that, there are multiple things you will be learning about some tool, watch with what we call it as slicer and pivot chart, pivot table, how to generate graphs and how you can visualize it using um, uh, uh, using data set and pivot table in one graph only, in one page only how you can present all in the dash, uh, dashboard and you can uh, you can visualize the entire chart in one place. Can you all see that? This is how you make things uh, more easy and more visualizable. Is it clear to all? More visible, yes. I would say. Yes. Okay. Yes. So this is the this is yes. the this is the end of the track you can expect you to do this. At the end of the track, you should be able to achieve such kind of expertise. Okay. So is it clear to everyone how we are going to get started and how we are going to uh, end the things at the end of the track? Yeah. Yes. yes. Awesome. That's brilliant. Uh, because it is clear to all of you, I want someone to read this uh, first, uh, you know, rectangle for me, this one. Anyone? Go ahead. Yeah. Analyze data in Excel empowers you to understand your data through natural language queries that allow you to ask questions about your data without having to write complicated formulas. In addition, Analyze data provides high-level visual summarized frames and patterns. Awesome. Thank you so much for re reading this out. So by reading this, you understand you need not to learn all the complicated formula, but you will get to learn the important and necessary formula is it clear to you all that i will naturally tell you that what all minimum formula you should be knowing so that you will be learning from me and those formula will be used in the excel and based on using that formula only you can analyze the data you can sort and filter and visualize the summaries understand the trend and pattern of the past data so when i am talking more about data 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 it means let me help you to understand what kind of data in month 3000 units of uh, you know spices have been sold or uh, 200 packets of one flavor of cho chocolate had been sold but uh, in the month of march or uh, august uh, the sales increase for the chocolate uh, for the 
chocolate uh, or say for example cadbury just i'm giving random example so when you see that in some months sales have increased some months sales have dropped that helps you to identify in which month i should create more stock based on my past uh, two years of data or five years of data so when you need to take such decision then for there uh, you know uh, such uh, data helps you to take the right decision with me so far yes yes so yes. just in a nutshell what and why and how we need to do i gave you this example now i want someone uh, okay so you don't need to read let me uh, read it out so excel has more than 400 function how many everyone 400 400 but the good news is that you need not to learn all the 400 function because Excel is ocean in itself. So you need to know what is right for you to get place and that only you need to learn. So that is one. But does it mean that you will stop learning? No, you will continue your learning. But the idea should be first that learn what first that will help you to get place and continue to learn rest that you continue to develop later and, and continue to use later and continue. Uh, even if you don't learn few of them, that will not uh, bring out of the job. That will let you be in the job and still you can continue to learn. So that's the reason. Uh, just don't get uh, uh, disheartened or disappointed. Oh my God, 400 function that I need to learn. Second, Excel simplifies data analysis with pivot table. It means that you are going to learn pivot table as well. Okay. Third, no need to, no need for advanced degree. It does not require you for the advanced degree. In case you think that uh, you are coming with the advanced degree, you will, uh, just for those who are listening to the re recording as well. So in case you are coming with a really vast degree and you need to know every single thing, you don't need to. You need to know basic to get started, to get place that, that you need to understand. So that's the reason data analysis using Excel, this kind of a, uh, uh, you know, end result you can get and you need to know a uh, little few things that you will be learning in this track of data analysis using Excel. Third, uh, fourth, Excel offers a variety of ways to visualize your data and you will be learning what all the variety of ways you need to know to visualize those data. Excel's macro and add-ins expands in uh, its capability. So, Excel macro, macro you need not to learn, but definitely I will teach you, teach you the add-ins that you would require for data analysis. Is it clear what you are going to learn, what you are not going to learn? Scope is clear to you all in a nutshell? Yes. Awesome. Yes, yes. Super. So that calls the end of the day today. And with this, I just quickly want to ask you, what do you feel like saying after this much of the information? I know that today was a lot of the learning and a lot of context creation, but yet you have the clear cut visibility where you are getting into. Is that right? Yeah. So are you with me so far, everyone? Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Last I heard from the uh, Rajni. So Rajni, uh, one word, what do you feel like saying about today's session? From good, sir. I am feeling good. Yeah. You are feeling good and confident yes. that you can do that? Yes. Awesome, yes. Rajni. Thank you so much. Rajni, I want you to take one name from the screen that you can see. Uh, anu Yadav. Anu Yadav. Anu, what do you feel like saying? I know it's your day one, but still would like to hear from you. What do you feel like saying? Yeah, it's a really good. Uh... Good. You are able to connect and relate? Yeah. Feeling confident that you can do that? Yes, of course. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much, Anu. Please call out someone's Thank name you. on the screen. You're welcome. Uh, Any... Megha. 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 Yes, Megha. What do you feel like, Sarah? Uh, today's session is uh, very much interesting. Mm -hmm. And I learned new things. Mm -hmm. And are you feeling confident that you too can do that? Yes. Yes. Awesome. Megha, thank you. Please call out someone's name on the screen. Who has not yet spoken? Anyone? Uh, Ashwini. Ashwini. Yes, Ashwini. What do you feel like saying? Positive and confident. You're feeling positive and confident. Thank you so much. Ashwini, call out someone's name on the screen, you see? Uh, Yamini. Yamini. Yes, Yamini. You can unmute and speak up. What do you feel like saying, Yamini? Yamini, you might be speaking on Yeah. You. yeah. 
I'm I'm very confident that I can uh, I can get into the industry. <laughs> Okay, yeah, maybe. Thank you so much. Glad to know about it. Please call out someone's name on the screen. You see, from Vishaka, Anu, or Harini. Vishaka. Vishaka. Yes, Vishaka. You can unmute your screen. Yes. Uh, today's session is really very good. I'm. I feel confident, and I can do it. And thank you so much for like uh, detailed explaining, like from base. And I really like the code of honor that you mentioned in detail. It's very interesting. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much, Vishaka. Please call out one name from Anu and Harini. Or Harini. Harin, Harini. Yes, Harini. Uh, what do you feel like Thank saying? you, Vishaka. Yeah. Thank you, Vishaka. And um, um, as Vishaka said, uh, I definitely I second her because um, the code of honor and all that, it was... I mean, I've attended some trainings, but uh, I, I'm really interested and it gave me a um, uh, good, uh, I mean, uh, good approach. It gives me a confidence and uh, it, it it was looking really positive. I liked it. Thank you so much, Harini. And call out the uh, another name. Anu. Anu. Yes, Anu. Over to you. Unmute and speak up. What do you feel like saying, Anu? Day one. And uh, I like first class, really, you, uh, what about your code and uh, it's really good. It's good. You are able to relate, yeah. feel confident that you two can do that, Anu? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so much, everyone, for your participation, contribution. I know this is day one. I tried to make it to super simple as much as possible so that you feel that confidence that I can do that. And swiftly, we will be shifting the gear in the coming days. So thank you so much. I'm looking forward that what you have learned uh, to see it in WhatsApp group, not today, but uh, whenever the assignment day would be. And we'll again meet you tomorrow at 9 p.m. EST. Till then, thank you so much for showing up and good night. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye and good night to you all. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you sir. Bye. -bye. Bye.